Welcome back to the Plus Side of Nashville, everybody. My guests are Jeannie Varashu and Sharon Beckner from Assistance League Nashville, an all-volunteer organization that provides children in need in our community with school clothing and other necessities to help them enhance their self-esteem and academic success. Yes, we all know that when you go to school wearing something new, you feel better. You know, the first the school year and everybody's coming back with new uniforms, everybody wants to be able to do that. So what you're doing is a fantastic thing. As an all-volunteer organization, Jeannie, how do you get your funds? How do these? How are we able to get these uniforms for these students? Well, um, we have two fundraisers. This year we had a golf tournament and a wine tasting. And fortunately, we have people in our organization that like planning events mm -hmm. and fundraising, so that helps. And then we have uh, also people who write grants. And of course, we depend on donations as well. Absolutely. So that's basically how we get our funds. And all I do want to say that all the funds that we raise in Nashville stay in Nashville, oh, even though we are part of a national organization. But it all stays right here. Yeah, that's good to know. And we were talking about, before we went to the break, Operation School Bell. Yes. Uh, which is sort of the, the what a lot of what you do falls underneath as far as the program goes. Um, you have an agreement with Metro Nashville Public Schools and Pencil. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. Um, and and uh, that works in several different ways. They have given us a room at the LP Pencil Box. Mm -hmm. We don't really have any offices, but we have this room at the LP Pencil Box where we keep all the clothing, and that's our, kind of our work room where we do our Operation School Bell. So it starts off um, kind of in the summer. Uh, our Operation School Bell Chairman orders all the clothing uh -huh. wholesale and then it gets delivered to um, LP Pencil Box where we unload the trucks and set up the room. <laughs> I think we have pictures um, of that um, where, where of that. all you ladies are getting together. Oh, wow. Well, here's the setup of the room. This is our room. Uh, and these are some of our volunteers who are walking around filling um, the orders that we get from Metro. So our referrals come in from any school personnel in Metro can send us a re referral. Okay. So it could be the guidance counselor, the principal, a teacher, a social worker, mm -hmm. um, and they send us the name of the child and their size, and then we um, take one of these bags. Okay, so yeah, you've got a sample of what uh, one do. of the bags looks like. So we put the child's name and their size on the front and the school, and then it's delivered to the school through school mail, mm -hmm and um, given to the children discreetly. So each child gets um, two polo shirts, okay. two pairs of pants, and new this year was a long sleeve shirt for layering. Oh. They get three pairs of socks, a belt, and then boys and girls underwear. Oh wow, they even get they underwear. They even get underwear. And we added that this year because we got information from the guidance counselors and the principals that that was what was really needed I in the see. schools was underwear and the long sleeve shirt as well was added this wow, year. Wow, so that is really good to help you guys know exactly what these students are going to need. And and, and I'm, the learning process can go so much smoother when you feel like you have everything that you need. Sure. So now, are there often times where you will have enough to a whole family? Because there may be a family of four. Just Sometimes there if, are, if, if, yes. If, if that the one child in the family needs uniforms, do you feel like the other children also need to get the uniforms? Well, we really depend on the schools to send okay. us the names of the children. So, but sometimes we see on the list that they are <laughs> four of the same last name. Okay. And, that's, and that's perfectly fine. Um, okay. We want to fill the need. That's okay. our goal. Oh, that's wonderful. And I love how you are discreet about it. Um, because I think it would be a, a, a sort of a, a, um, an embarrassing thing for some of these kids to see these things handed out, which as you said, there's often times where the teachers or whomever do. I think we have um, some pictures. Well, we do. Um, we don't often, as you said, we don't often get to see the children because right. we just send the clothing to the schools and they give it out. But uh, several times a year, we give uniforms to the pre-Ks, the fr freestanding pre-Ks okay. that are at like Martha O'Brien, Fanny Battle, McNeely. And so we give all of those children clothing, so we go in and actually get to see some of the kids and work with them then. That and that's really fun adorable. for our members. And I, yeah, I was going to say, because for the members, I'm sure the excitement of just would be seeing the kids to get their, their new uh, clothing. Right, yes. right. And opening up that bag and looking in <laughs> and seeing what's there, yeah. they are thrilled. And they're thrilled that they're brand new. I know. Those are comments that we get sometimes are, wow, they're new, they're still in the plastic. Yeah. 
That's you, so you thought cool. of everything, a complete outfit. What about shoes? Is that something that you would ever add to the program? Um, if we can afford it, we yeah. would love to be able to I'm add sure shoes to the program. I'm sure you ladies have probably talked about every aspect. When you were starting out, Sharon, and trying to think of, of, of what do we need to do for these children. Yes. Um, and you probably had to go back and maybe add a few things or take a few, few things away. But initially, did you just start off thinking uniforms? We did initially start off with uniforms, but we also had some vouchers for shoes at oh. one time uh, that we were able to get so we could provide the family with a voucher where they would have to then take the child to the store to get the shoes. But we found that the need was greater for the uniforms, and we found that some children came to school in uniforms but with no underwear on. Mm -hmm. And so we felt like the funds that we were raising would benefit the children more to give them those bare necessities that they needed. Yeah, I'm so glad you, did, you all are doing that. So how long does this program go? What is it just through the school year? Um, yes, it goes really from August through April. And of course our busiest time is September and October when school starts. But um, it does go all year because children outgrow their clothes, uh -huh. new children move in, and sometimes just with the busyness of school, uh, sometimes it doesn't get noticed until November that somebody needs clothing. So right. that's, we just do it all year long. Do you have an estimate at all as to how many children that you actually serve? Well, last year we served 3,283. Oh. And we were thrilled because we were also recognized um, by Pencil Foundation and were given the Mayor's Award for the Outstanding System White Partners. So that oh, was a thrill for us. I can just imagine. Is there um, a way to measure the impact that these new clothes have on these children? We do uh, a survey every year with the principals and with the guidance counselors. Uh, to measure that impact and it's been very interesting that a hundred percent of the principals and guidance counselors feel that it does improve the self-esteem and confidence of the children to have new clothes. Well I can just imagine that it does. This is a great great uh, organization, Assistance League Nashville. If people want to know how they can help how they can get involved, you got a website? Yes, it's nashville.assistanceleague.org is there ever any opportunities to volunteer, even if you're not a member? If somebody wants to come help you maybe stuff some of these bags, are there opportunities for that? Absolutely. Okay. We, are, we, we love to have non-member volunteers, and we, uh, we keep track of those hours. We keep track of our members' hours okay. so that we can uh, figure out how much we've given back to the community in, um, in our hours. Yeah. So um, non-volunteers, members are fabulous, and you can contact us through the website, and someone will be in touch with you and tell you when our next field date is, and you can join us. Great. And we do that once a week. Once we a fill week? the orders mm -hmm. from oh, wow, August through okay. April. So we're hoping to do 3,500 children this year. So um, each year we try to increase more and more. Wow. Well, you all are doing such great work. I'm so glad we were able to tell everybody about Assistance League Nashville, celebrating 10 years of doing good work here in Nashville. Keep it up, ladies. And thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you. you. When we come back, a preview of Nashville Repertory Theater's newest production that will be coming soon to the stage is an hilarious Tony Award winning show that you do not want to miss and we'll tell you all about it right after this.